It's really great being part of this Front Street community. There are so many people doing different types of artwork. I know when Rachel and I were thinking about getting a space together, it was really important that we had something that was big enough to accommodate all the variety of media that we work with. It's nice having other people in the community, but having somebody mm -hmm. so close to share with has been yeah. important as well. Yeah, and help maintaining the studio and like getting ready for shows or openings. It's great because we could tag team it and like, well, you get the cheese cubes and you know, I'll do this and that. And we also like to having, at least for me, as I do a lot of assemblages um, with random materials and a lot of rust, having the space and the utility tub to make messes <laughs> and be able to clean up and have room to spread out for sure. I've always been drawn to Dayton's industrial kind of leftovers, um, also inspired by the city in its various states of flourish and decay. I am a graphic designer, but for my fine art, just seeing random bits of metal alongside the road, pulling over and grabbing that, so anything goes. I started with painting and mixed media and then I just I found collage and I fell in love with it and I was already working with paper recycling things making things like cards and books and decided to take it to visual art I learn a lot because I get sidetracked by the books and I end up reading quite yeah. a bit as well <laughs> I cut out a lot of pieces I assemble them I stow them away they find meaning later and then I also do some projects that I work within parameters, like my collage garden project. I would say with my work, it's definitely about experiencing a new and completely unthought of place. Definitely surrealistic. I do collage too, and I'm a little bit more, like a graphic designer, very visually, perhaps a little more 2D, <laughs> a little flatter world. And then my assemblages, it's, Finding like a core piece of metal that like, this is awesome, but I have no idea what to do with it. I don't know if you remember from the 70s, these big acrylic grapes that used to be on coffee tables. I've integrated them into a piece of metal and this, so I just kind of enjoy putting the randomness of the world together, I guess. <laughs>